Hello coffee holics, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to make coffee to go. So we are going to make four different hot espresso drinks using paper cups. These are eight ounces paper cups and we are going to make four different new flavors. Not the same as what I have shown you in a previous video tutorial using eight ounces cups. Today we're going to make four different drinks and for the main ingredients of course I'm going to use my medium roast coffee beans here and we are going to use fresh milk. You can change this to any milk of your choice. For the flavors we're going to make vanilla latte. So for vanilla latte I'm going to use a commercial vanilla here using Long Beach vanilla syrup and then we are going to make Spanish latte and how is Spanish latte different from a regular latte is the use of condensed milk so I'm going to use condensed milk for the Spanish latte and then we are going to make caramel macchiato usually for caramel macchiato I use caramel syrup and then top it up with caramel sauce this time I'm going to change it a little bit and see how it tastes like or how different it tastes like I'm going to use a Starbucks recipe which uses vanilla syrup with the drink and then top up with caramel sauce on top. Now this is the homemade caramel sauce. If you haven't seen yet how to make this homemade caramel sauce, do check out my video tutorial on that one. Okay, and we are going to make peppermint mocha. And for the peppermint mocha, I'm going to use my dark chocolate powder. And then I am going to use my homemade peppermint syrup here. If you haven't yet seen how to make this, do check out my video tutorial above. And we are going to top it up with chocolate sauce on top and this is also homemade. Don't forget to check out how to make this one. Okay, now for my espresso, because I'm going to make four drinks at the same time, I am going to use my double basket, double spout fil uh, porta filter here so that we can do it in one go. I normally use about nine grams of coffee beans for one shot of espresso or one ounce of espresso then I, I would put 18 grams for this one. So 18 grams of coffee beans into my basket and then we're going to pour two single shots of espresso. Start with Spanish latte that is one shot of espresso or about 25 to 30 ml and I'm going to add one tablespoon of condensed milk. Now this is for vanilla latte. I've got my one shot of espresso here and I'm going to put two pumps or 15 ml of my vanilla syrup and then just swirl and we're going to pour our milk. one shot of espresso here or 30 ml of espresso and then I'm going to use the same two pumps of my vanilla syrup you can use caramel syrup which I normally do and then I'm going to put my milk here because the caramel macchiato I'd like to decorate on top so I'm going to first scoop up my milk there over just a different style at this time okay that is my caramel macchiato our final drink it is peppermint mocha for the peppermint mocha, we're going to do the same thing. Here we have our one shot of espresso. I am going to add one tablespoon of my dark chocolate powder. There you go. 
add one tablespoon of my peppermint syrup. This is about 15 ml. Okay, there you go. Stir to dissolve the powder. For the mocha, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to first put my foam there. Then pour the milk over. The cup is quite small, but I'm sure this would taste absolutely delicious. It all depends on the coffee that you use and the milk that you use. Now this one is the Spanish latte. Mm. It never fails to amaze me. I really love the taste of the Spanish latte. It's just really latte, nothing else, and a little bit of sweetener and that rich taste of the condensed milk. Well, you cannot really taste the condensed milk. It just makes your drink very rich. No wonder the Spanish love this. And my caramel macchiato. For my caramel macchiato this time, the only difference that I did was to use vanilla syrup instead of caramel syrup. So this is really tasting like vanilla latte, but uh, because I haven't really stirred the caramel sauce on top just yet, so this is like vanilla latte, peppermint mocha. Mm. That is coffee with a hint of peppermint and it is very very special I must say because it is like peppermint tea and coffee together because the way I made my peppermint was using peppermint tea it is surprisingly very very good I think you should try this okay first you try making my peppermint syrup and then you mix it with your coffee and the latte and it's so special I must say and this is my vanilla latte Mm. That tastes so much like my caramel macchiato. So I think I will stick with using caramel syrup for my caramel macchiato instead of vanilla syrup. And then the taste will be definitely different from my vanilla. But what I can say here is that the taste of the coffee, very, very mild, very smooth. And um, if you'd like it to be stronger, some shops, they use double shots of espresso for eight ounces cups. I prefer them really smooth and really mild for this kind of drinks because they're hot drinks and um, I would go I would still go for this one shot of espresso for eight ounces cups now I'm also going to show you how to make this in 12 ounces and if I can find the cups I'll also make them in 16 ounces cups so stay tuned and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel do click that subscribe button below also for those that do not know I do have books the basic barista and all things milk tea they are also now available on amazon.com and details on how to order are in the description box below in the meantime do let me know if you have any questions or anything at all comment below see you next time thank you for watching ciao for now